Hey guys, this is a uh, quick tutorial for Unity 3D. It's exporting SketchUp models and importing them into Unity. I already have a SketchUp model here. Uh, first thing first, you have to make sure that the SketchUp model is not a 2D model. Uh, 2D models can be, you can tell that they're 2D if you rotate around them like the uh, default human that's inside uh, SketchUp once you load up a new project. So I've got a 3D model here, it's not 2D and I'm going to go to File and Export. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that you have SketchUp Pro for this. Uh, go to Export and 3D Model, and uh, go to Options. You can pause the video right here, make sure that all those are selected and they match up to mine, and uh, then click OK. I am going to set this as Plant because it's a plant, and I'm going to export it into my SketchUp Models because I already have SketchUp Models in my Unity. So I'm going to uh, Export. And uh, it's going to create the, uh, the model. Click OK. Now Unity is going to freeze for a second because it's uh, importing the model. There you go. Now uh, I can simply just, well, I'm going to create a train so you can kind of see what the scale is. Uh, then you can just drag the plant right into the game. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, 50 times bigger. And uh, there, now you have a plant. Now, uh, one more quick tip is if you go into the project view and select the plant, generate colliders. That uh, allows physics objects to interact with the model, and it allows them to collide with the uh, model. So, if you, uh, say, want to make a uh, person that can walk into the model, then, or if you want the model to be able to walk into, did I say that right? An anyway. If you want to be able to walk into the model and not go straight through it, then uh, make sure that's selected. Uh, and then click apply, and now it's not walk throughable with the first person controller, or it's not like hittable or anything. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I uh, thank you very much for watching, and come back later for more Unity 3D tutorials. Thank you very much, goodbye.